in the WKYX WNGO Newsroom. I'm Bill Hughes. A 17-year-old Mayfield High School student has been killed and his mother has been kidnapped. According to the Graves County Sheriff's Department, the incident happened this morning at 411 Fairlane Drive in Mayfield, where the teen was killed and police say 34-year-old Kim Thomas was kidnapped by an ex-boyfriend, 40-year-old Terry Froman of Brookport, Illinois. The couple was last seen in Paducah in a 2004 white GMC Yukon with an Illinois license plate that reads T-R-I-C-K-E and the number one. It was last seen at a five-star convenience store in Paducah where the woman apparently tried to get away, but the man dragged her back into the vehicle. Mayfield High School has been notified that one of their students has been killed and counselors are being made available for students. Police are asking for anyone who has seen the vehicle or these people to call state police or local law enforcement. Police say no one should approach them since the man is considered armed and very dangerous. The investigation is obviously continuing, and we will have more details as soon as they are made available. In the WKYX WNGO newsroom, I'm Bill Hughes. The man police believe is responsible for killing a 17-year-old and kidnapping the teen's mother in Mayfield this morning is wounded and in custody in Ohio, but the woman is dead. Mayfield High School student Michael Eli Money was killed early this morning, but Graves County authorities didn't learn of the incident until about 9.30 a.m. and arrived at 411 Fairlane Drive to find Money's body. They also determined that 34-year-old Kim Thomas was kidnapped by an ex-boyfriend, 40-year-old Terry Froman of Brookport, Illinois. The investigation started when the couple was spotted at a five-star convenience store on Wayne Sullivan Drive in Paducah in a white GMC Yukon. Apparently, the woman tried to escape at the store, but Froman dragged her back into the vehicle. Paducah law enforcement notified Graves County authorities, and they responded to the Mayfield home. Sheriff DeWayne Redmond spoke to reporters this afternoon. It's a very tragic situation, uh, especially when you have a 17-year-old that was an, apparently an outstanding high school student that's been killed, apparently from what we've been able to determine trying to protect his mother, but apparently you got someone that didn't have any kind of regard for human life. Ohio law enforcement say they began following the vehicle around noon and initiated a traffic stop sometime later and found that Thomas was dead and Froman had been shot, but they're not sure how. They said his injuries were not life-threatening and he was taken to a local hospital and will be taken into custody. The shooting happened on I-75 near Middletown, Ohio, between Cincinnati and Dayton. Mayfield High School has been notified that one of their students has been killed and counselors are being made available for students. Froman has already been charged with murder and kidnapping in Graves County and additional charges from Ohio are likely. Some of those could be federal charges. Arrangements have been made for the Graves County mother and son who both died last Friday at the hands of her ex-boyfriend. Funeral services for 17-year-old Michael Eli Mooney and his mother, 34-year-old Kim Thomas, are set for 2 p.m. on Wednesday at his house, Ministries in Mayfield. Mooney was killed Friday while trying to protect Thomas from her estranged boyfriend, and Thomas was abducted and later found dead in Ohio during a multi-state police search. The suspect, 40-year-old Terry Froman of Brookport, Illinois, was taken into custody in the Cincinnati area. Froman faces murder and kidnapping charges in Graves County and one count of aggravated murder in Ohio. Police saying Froman suffered a self-inflicted gunshot wound that authorities described as non-life-threatening. As of Sunday, he was still in the hospital. Money attended Mayfield High School, and according to the school district spokeswoman, students formed prayer circles after learning of the tragedy on Friday, and school counselors and youth ministers were available to help students deal with their grief. That's Matt McLean reporting. A Southern Illinois man has pleaded not guilty to charges that he kidnapped and killed a Mayfield woman who was found dead in a vehicle along a highway in southwest Ohio. Joe Jackson reports. The Warren County prosecutor says attorneys for Terry Froman of Brookport today entered not guilty pleas for him to charges of aggravated murder, kidnapping, and firearms discharge. The 41-year-old Froman is being held without bond. Authorities say he killed his estranged girlfriend's 17-year-old son in Mayfield then kidnapped and killed her before being arrested September 12th north of Cincinnati. Ohio authorities said they heard gunshots as they approached Froman's stopped vehicle along Interstate 75. They said Froman had a self-inflicted gunshot wound and 34-year-old Kim Thomas was dead inside the vehicle. Froman also is charged with murder and kidnapping in Graves County, Kentucky. I'm Joe Jackson. Warren County Prosecutor David Fornshell told WCPO in Cincinnati that he'll pursue the death penalty in the case. He added that after consulting with Graves County prosecutors, Froman will be tried on his charges in Ohio first.